Lisa! Get out of there! Elisa... I'm sorry. He beat Metal Gear. Metal Gear, done in by a flesh and blood human being. So that's Big Boss. It's all over. Our nation will never be built. Wonderful! Only you could have destroyed Russia with Ursula at its helm. I can see now why you caught Ocelot's eye. Major Ocelot from Gru? What does he have to do with this? <laughs> I like you, Snake. You're a fascinating man. Enough! It's over, Jane. I destroyed your Metal Gear. You can't blackmail the world with nuclear attack anymore. Give it up. You're finished. You destroyed my Metal Gear? Why, Snake? Whatever do you mean? What? Ghost, this isn't a good time. Snake, it's not over. Not yet. That was not the ballistic launch Metal Gear. That was Metal Gear Russia, produced for performance evaluation. It was a test model. Test model? Sokolov, you're alive. <sighs> you will... Of course. So you're the ghost. You designed the Shagahod, so naturally you'd know about Granin's Metal Gear too. That's why. Ah. So it was you who was feeding Snake information, Sokolov. Of all people, I never thought you would betray me. Yes, you did rescue me from that prison camp in Russia. Thanks to you, I was reunited with my family. For a little while, at least. I will always be grateful to you for that. But launching Metal Gear into Russia, that I cannot condone. I simply could not bear to see my own creation turned against the motherland. And so you collaborated with Snake. Sokolov, you designed the world's first nuclear armed tank. You're a rocket scientist. You defected to the United States and participated in the development of Metal Gear. Surely you must have known that one day it would be used against the Soviet Union. That's the real Metal Gear? Yes. Russia was a decoy. Ursula bought us plenty of time. Gene, stop! Shoot me if you like, Snake. But ask yourself this. Are you worthy enough to pull the trigger? You've inherited the title of boss, yet you've never stopped to think about the future you want to see. What? Soldiers, hear my words! The Cold War will soon be over, for the United States and the Soviet Union no longer have the strength or the authority to shape the world as they see fit. Even as America sinks deeper into the quagmire of the Vietnam War, her allies in the West have achieved tremendous economic growth. And with the collapse of its planned economy, Russia can no longer keep up with the financial demands of her vast army. But the end of the Cold War does not mean that peace will follow. Freed from the domination of the world's superpowers, nationalism will soon be the driving force behind global politics. And the ever-widening gap between rich and poor will fan the flames of hatred between nations. Nuclear weapons will slip from the superpowers' grasp and spread throughout the world. Soon, no one will know when or where the nukes will come from. Today's ally may be tomorrow's bitter enemy. Or worse, the time may come when soldiers of the same country will kill their brothers, just like you are now. Who of you can say that tomorrow you won't be aiming your rifles at your neighbors, your comrades, your families? Stop it, Gene. Is there no one who has a grudge against you? No one who mocks you? No one who really needs you? Is there truly no one out there who would kill you? Knock it off, G! One of my...
my men is standing amongst you right now. His instructions are to kill you for your betrayal. He's lying! Don't listen to him! He's gonna kill us! He's going to kill us! Hey! Get a hold of yourself! Snap out of it! Your enemy is standing right beside you. Is it you? Or perhaps you? This planet is like a giant bomb. See how easily it blows itself to bits with a single nuclear warhead. Or rather, a single bullet. <laughs> there he is. It's the enemy. Who's shooting? Who's shooting? The bastard shot him. want them to stop, then why not stop them yourself, Snake? Metal Gear is ready to launch. I have no further need of this plant. So you kill your own men? I don't have to kill anyone. These men are quite capable of doing it themselves. Humans are fragile, foolish, violent creatures. See for yourself, Snake. See what mankind truly is. Snake! Look out!
Use extra caution. He's here!
We lost one. Select the next soldier immediately. This is HQ. Acknowledged. The enemy is still nearby. Huh? What was that? HQ. This is HQ. Oh! This is the truck. All clear. Understood. Return to your position.
What's that? Nothing here. using the perfect soldier, did you? He's supposed to be undergoing readjustments! Where is he? Where is that man? I found you. Tell me, why are you still alive? I used to get dreams about my comrades. They'd come save me with strong arms and laughing voices. When I woke up, I had nothing. No joy, no sorrow, no hatred, no memory. When I wake up from the darkness, all I see are the bodies of men I've killed, lying in front of me. My memory is riddled with corpses. I know. Everybody dies. Crime, disease, accidents, war. No matter how noble a person you are, no matter how good a soldier, there are no exceptions. Even if I don't kill them, they die. This world is full of death, and yet you won't be killed. Why? Why do you still live? What do you hope to accomplish by living? I know your name. It was four years ago, in Mozambique. There was a child soldier fighting with a guerrilla group in the struggle for independence. He killed dozens of government soldiers with just a single knife. He'd throw the enemy off guard with the innocent frankness of a young boy. Then he'd prey on them with the cold cruelty of a hunter. He spoke a little German, so his enemies called him Frank Jaeger. The Frank Hunter. Frank Jaeger. My name. Don't do this. The strong arms, allies who will help you are somewhere else. No. I am the perfect soldier. Where I exist, there are no other soldiers. So I don't need a name. I am Null. And when you're dead, I can go back to being Null. Ah! 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 
next soldier immediately. I remember now, Big Boss. Even then, you were the one who stopped me. I was raised by adults to be a tool of war. But you defeated me. Watched over me. I'm sorry. I thought you'd have been safe at the rehab facility. I had no idea they'd subject you to this. It had to be the Philosophers. It's okay, Big Boss. You're always there to save me. You helped me fill the void inside. Let's get going. It's time to blow this place.
What's that?
You can make it, Snake. To be honest, I'm a bit surprised. You've come much further than I'd expected. He was right about you. He. But that no longer matters. You've got no reason left to fight. Your mission is over, Snake. Mission? What are you talking about, Cunningham? <laughs> All right then, Snake. I'll explain it to you. I don't answer to Gene. What? The CIA may control Fox, but I don't answer to them either. My employer is the U.S. Department of Defense. What do you mean? Everything you've seen so far. Surely you know the CIA and the Pentagon aren't on the best of terms. You're talking about a fight over budget? No, not that. The Bay of Pigs invasion in 1961. The covert ops in North Vietnam. The influence of the CIA in America's military affairs grows with each passing year. The Pentagon brass started to feel threatened. And then they found out about the Metal Gear project. They enlisted Gene, Fox Unit's commanding officer, and had him steal it before it could be handed over to the Russians. What do you think would happen if Gene were to launch Metal Gear into the Soviet Union? The CIA lose face, and the military's influence would immediately start to soar. You were trying to get Gene to use the nukes on purpose? Are you out of your mind? You'd start an all-out nuclear war. Wrong again, Snake. Gene is just a renegade. And the Russians are the ones who built this base. The fundamental design for Metal Gear and the nukes it carries are Russian-made. And you blame Washington? Besides, There'll be no evidence left behind anyway. See this snake? A Davy Crockett. Exactly. A miniature nuclear warhead. But this one is Soviet made. After Gene launches Metal Gear, I'll obliterate this base. Not a single blade of grass will be left behind. What are you going to do with the other soldiers? Those Red Army rebels? 
What do you care? They're our enemy! <laughs> but you're different, Snake. You carried out your mission well. You followed the script he and the Pentagon wrote for you to the letter. Script. Do you want to know the real reason you were sent here? Because we knew you'd throw a wrench into Gene's plans. We needed someone to sneak into enemy territory alone. Recruit the rebels to his side. And leave Gene with no choice but to launch Metal Gear. The only soldier who could pull it off was you. The legendary hero, Big Boss. And sure enough, that's just what you've done. Now you've done quite enough. We still need Gene to launch Metal Gear. It's part of the Pentagon's plan. And we can't have you disrupting that, too. There's a heliport on top of this base. Get on the chopper, Snake. Once Metal Gear has been launched as planned, we'll take you back to the States. After this place is nothing but cinders, you'll be a hero once again. It won't be the CIA congratulating you, but you'll get over it. What do you think you're doing, Snake? Are you still blinded by your loyalty to the CIA? What has the CIA ever done for us in Fox? They sent us on the most brutal missions. And when I came back wounded, they shuffled me to a desk job. They did the same to you, too. They cast your mentor the mother of our special forces, out into a foreign land and left her there to die. Don't tell me you're doing it for the Russian soldiers here, pathetic fool. Go to the heliport, Snake. I'm not letting you through. Go back. I can't let you choose Metal Gear. I'm doing this out of loyalty to myself. I'm not gonna live my life the way the boss did. <laughs> Have it your way. Now you're a real traitor.
if you'd just gone home to America. You and I would have been given the highest honors a soldier can achieve. And now, look what you've done. But I'm not gonna die alone. I'm taking you with me! Cunningham, no! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Nice of you to join us, Snake. These are the Metal Gear engineers. You killed them. No. They killed themselves. They all despaired of their crimes and decided to die. Crimes? You mean the fact that this is all a Pentagon conspiracy? Conspiracy? I see. Cunningham must have spilled his guts. The poor fool. He died never realizing he was only a puppet after all. Aren't you the puppet, Gene? The Pentagon was trying to get rid of the CIA. Wrong. I've known everything from the very start. The Pentagon's plans, that Cunningham would betray me. Everything. I simply used it to my own advantage, for my real plan. Real plan? I won't be launching Metal Gear into the Soviet Union. What? The Pentagon must have been prepared for the possibility that Cunningham might fail to erase the evidence. They're probably in negotiations with the Red Army as we speak. Even if I launched Metal Gear into Russia now, it wouldn't trigger a war. If Russia isn't the target, then what is? Virginia, USA. The CIA headquarters at Langley and the Pentagon. The Philosopher's Twin Lairs will be obliterated. You're launching a nuclear strike against America? But if you do that... Chaos will be created on an unprecedented scale. Worst case scenario, America ceases to exist as a nation. The existing world order crumbles. And Russia won't escape unscathed either. Metal Gear will have been launched from a Soviet nuclear missile base. Under a storm of international criticism, the Warsaw Pact will lose its sway over the Third World. It may even face armed conflict with NATO. Why? Why would you do that? To free the world from the Philosopher's control. I'll create a new global balance of power of my own design. My goal of building a new nation of mercenaries with only the most capable soldiers is real. But this peninsula is not the right place for it. Our nation will be an organization of shadows, without shape or form. We will lurk deep underground and intervene in conflicts all over the world. History will be ours to control. I will accomplish what the hollow shell of the philosophers could not. The superior breed of soldier. This organization will be the true Peninsula of the Dead. I call it Army's Heaven. Army's Heaven? 
I will not allow the world to be a playground for abstract national interest and petty political gambits. I will use superior force of arms to achieve superior force of will. Thus, I will make the world whole again. For I am the successor, and this is my calling. You're nothing but a dictator. What? You use fear to keep your soldiers in line. You use words to deceive your allies. You exploit those who look up to you as a mentor, and then you throw them away. The country you're building is no heaven for soldiers. The place they're looking for is outside your heaven. Open your eyes, Snake. This is our calling. It's all part of a greater mission. Compared to this calling, the individual wills of individual soldiers are meaningless. Those who have no calling must be given one by those who do. They must follow the teachings of those with a greater will. I suppose that'd be you. It is my calling, and I will bestow it upon others. The countless masses with no wills of their own must devote their lives to a higher cause. They must give up their trivial lives, their petty contentment. They must sacrifice all their energies to the cause, pour their feeble lives into it, as the boss once did. You're full of yourself, Gene. You're not worthy to speak of the boss. So, you never knew. What are you talking about? Six years ago, during Operation Snake Eater, Volgan launched an American nuclear missile at Sokolov's research lab. This caused a change in plans, and the U.S. government had to assassinate its own operative, the boss, to prove its innocence. And you were the assassin snake. <laughs> Do you really think Volgan committed that terrible crime of his own will? What? It was all a setup from the very beginning. Volgan launching the nuke. The boss's death. Even your mission in Groznygrad, Snake. It was all the work of your country. And a single, deviously cunning strategist. You're saying it was all a setup? By who? The boss gave up her life. Even if someone else willed it. She sacrificed her own life for her calling. It was a noble act. Answer me! Who set it up? You don't need to know the answer. Snake, the only thing you need is a calling. Your country can't save you. Neither can your old teacher. Nor your so-called friends. Join me, Jack. I will give you your calling. I'll find my own. You and your phony ideals can go to hell. You are a soldier after all. It seems we'll never see eye to eye. Well then, the time for talk is over, Snake. Stop! You're too late. All preparations for Metal Gear's launch are complete. What the? Who? Ursula! Stay out of my way, Ursula! Nuclear warheads must never be used. They are terrible weapons. Everything dies. People, animals, trees, the Earth. Even today, they suffer still. I know their pain, their suffering, their cries, their hatred. Ursula? Or is it Elisa? <clears throat> you read my thoughts, Ursula. I let down my mental defenses thinking you were dead, but it's no use. You can read my mind, but you can't keep up with my body. Elisa! I'll have to find another way. Jean, stop. Snake, they've already input the trajectory for Metal Gear. There's a backup launch control in a nearby room. 
genie is going to use it. Stop him. I will. Don't try to talk. Don't worry. I'm okay. Snake. Oh, Snake. Everything is clear now. The futures we saw were one and the same. Snake. You, you will destroy, destroy Metal Gear. Gear. And you will create a new Metal Gear in its place. Your children. Les Enfants Terribles. Snake. Your son will bring the world to ruin. Your son will save the world. What are you trying to say, Elisa? Elisa! This is the end, Snake. Metal Gear has already entered launch mode. Trajectory calculations and target locations have been set. No one can stop it now. Not even you, should you defeat me. But I know you won't let me go without a fight. And I too have a reason to fight you. To prove who I really am. Let's find out who the true successor is, Snake. Let's finish this! What's it going to be? Loyalty to your country? to your country or loyalty to your son
don't believe it. A product of the successor project. Beaten by a flesh and blood man like you. It seems you are the true successor of the boss. The story about soldier genes. Perhaps it was true after all. You are the true successor. I don't know what you're babbling about, Jean. How do I stop Metal Gear from launching? Don't bother. Once the launch countdown has started, there's no way to stop it. Get out of here, Snake. And take this with you. What's this? The equipment, personnel, and funds I amassed in secret to build Army's Heaven. All the data is stored on that film. No one else knows about it. Why are you giving me this? Because you and I are the same. Someday, you'll be glad you have it. The one who fights and survives must carry on the legacy. Such is our fate. Go, Snake. I've said everything I need to. You are the one who will inherit my genes. You are the true successor. Be loyal to yourself. Go forth and find your own calling. Jean! Sokolov, do you read me? The countdown for Metal Gear has started. The control panel is locked out and won't respond. How do I stop it? I can see from here that the control circuit has been locked. But Metal Gear's solid rocket motor does not have a post-ignition fuel control mechanism. Once it goes into launch mode, there is no way to stop it. I don't care if I have to destroy this whole base, as long as it stops the nuke. If you can dismantle the Metal Gear unit itself before ignition, you may have a chance. The Metal Gear unit? You mean that thing that's attached to the missile warhead? Metal Gear is no mere nuclear missile. It is jettisoned from the booster at 3,000 feet above the target and parachutes down to the ground. After that, it launches its payload of miniature nuclear warheads. By destroying the Metal Gear unit before takeoff, you can prevent a nuclear strike even if you can't prevent the launch. However, the Metal Gear's designers anticipated this, gave it armor thicker than a tank's. And should the rocket itself be damaged, the entire silo could explode! Looks like I'm about to be burnt to a crisp. But I can't sit here and let the world be destroyed! Snake! working. What are you doing? Those weapons won't do any good. Get out of here before you're caught up in the blast and killed. You risked your life to save our motherland. Now it's our turn to defend your country. You've given us a real reason to fight, big boss. All right. Gear is on its way! Did it, Snake? You succeeded in destroying Metal Gear. 
Metal Gear has deviated from its course and is in free fall. Sensors show that the nuclear warhead launch tubes have been shut. Well done, Snake! Snake? Impressive. I never imagined they'd have a facility like this right underneath the CIA. Back when Fox was around, I wouldn't have been able to sneak down here. I've been sent to meet you, Mr. Director. And who are you? My name is Adam. Remember me now? <laughs> At last, we meet in person. Adam. The triple spy for the Philosophers. So you're Ocelot. You say you're here to meet me? That's right. We confirmed that Metal Gear entered launch mode. The first wave of nukes should arrive here within 30 minutes. I'm aware of that. I'm heading for the shelter as soon as I can. But I can't leave these documents here. Documents? Related to the Philosophers? Yes. A list of members, along with data, locations of portions of the legacy stashed around the world. So long as we have these, even if the United States does perish in an atomic storm, the Philosophers will be born again. Splendid. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. What the hell are you doing? You're not planning to betray the Philosophers, are you? Betray? No. I'm not going to betray them. I'm going to end them. Then we'll take back what you stole from us. We will carry on the spirit of the true Patriot. The true Patriot? It's all part of our plan to make the world she envisioned a reality. And so, I've come for the other half of the legacy. Snake, I heard they gave you quite a welcome back home. Campbell, you healing up all right? Yep, nearly good as new. Can't wait to get out of here though. That nurse is an unholy terror. It's all your fault for pushing a wounded man too hard. What about Frank, the child soldier from Mozambique? He's alive, though he's a mess both mentally and physically. I guess he'll be in the hospital for a while. After that, I don't know. He may never be able to go back to leading a normal life. So I hear they did a cover-up job on Fox's rebellion. Yeah, they're saying I was sent out to take down a Soviet missile base. That's it. Can't say I blame them. After all, how do you share the news that the U.S. homeland was facing nuclear attack? Don't beat yourself up over this snake. You did your country a great service. You deserve that medal. No one knows that better than you and I. Yeah. So what'll you do now, snake? I don't know. But I've realized something. What's that? I'm not living unless I'm in battle. So I have to find my own reason to fight. I have to pass on what's been handed down to me. Take care, Snake. We'll meet again someday.
Well, I'll be damned. So it was you who was feeding me information. Yes, the DCI's death should pass a suicide. They'll claim he did it because he felt responsible for the theft of Metal Gear. We can look forward to a major shake-up on the seventh floor at Langley shortly. It looks as if everything is going exactly the way you wanted it. When the DCI saw the trajectory data you supplied and found out he was the target of the nuclear strike, he brought the Philosopher's documents right to me. Yes, we should have known Gene was serious about launching those nukes. Seems our insurance policy came in handy after all. He did quite well. And now, I've got the legacy. Is that all part of your script, too? Using him in the Fox unit like that. Only you could have pulled it off. But, you won't be using me anymore. Battle data. From the perfect soldier. Jeez. Gino? I see. Intriguing. I'll help you with the project. But on one condition. I want him to join us. Yes, big boss. So that we can become the Patriots.